Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you are in the world, welcome and thank you for joining us. My name is Carl Anthony, and this is AutoVision News live at Incabin at the Auto World Museum. Museum in Brussels, Belgium. This is the inaugural in cabin event from Sense Media, following an exciting two days on Tuesday and Wednesday of AutoSense. Joining us here today on the mezzanine is Modar Alawi. Now, Modar is an artificial intelligence expert and technologist, and a leading figure in computer vision AI for human behavior understanding and prediction. He is currently the founder and CEO of Iris, a leader of in cabin sensing AI in inside autonomous and other highly automated vehicles. Sometimes you'll see that abbreviated as HAV. He is a winner of several international technology and innovation awards and has been featured on Bloomberg, the Wall Street Journal, Reuters, and many other respected international media publications spanning over 12 different languages. He joins us this morning here as part of In Cabin on AutoVision News. Modar, welcome. Thank you very much for having me, Carl. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that we could connect. So tell us a little more about Iris and the work that you're doing. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Um, we're, uh, we're coming on almost a decade now. The company's been founded since 2013. Historically, computer vision AI inside autonomous and highly automated vehicles. About two years ago, we've uh, introduced the world's first sensor fusion AI. So not only using image sensors, but we've complemented all of these uh, image sensors with radar and thermal imagers. Sure. Um, and as of yesterday, we've introduced the world's first monocular uh, 3D sensing. So in-cabin monocular 3D sensing, basically using a single camera. Right, right. And that was part of the AutoSense press conference. I, I want to get to that in a second. I want to cover one other thing in the press release that I thought was awesome. So your solutions have been licensed to major automakers, Ford, Toyota, Honda, Jaguar, Land Rover, Mitsubishi Motors, and others. So I, I want to monocular 3D sensing, but tell us more about some of these other design wins and what they mean for your company. It's a phenomenal validation, really, for all the work that we've been doing. Um, you know, there are some nuances licensing our technology to some of these OEMs and tier ones. Generally, is for development, pre-development, or advanced development, but of course, also for production series, production programs, which. Uh, you know, we're not always at liberty of uh, discussing uh, more about, uh, generally they start at 2025 and beyond. Sure. Uh, but, uh, you know, we couldn't be uh, thankful and grateful for all the support and the validation for all the work that we've been doing for almost a decade now. Yeah. Anna gave me a copy of the press release after the event on Tuesday. I read through that. I just thought that was the coolest thing. But to, to the bigger part of the press release, uh, the first in-cabin monocular 3D sensing AI solution. Take us through that and explain to us some of the benefits. Yeah, so historically, 3D has been really difficult to get inside the, the cabin. Um, it is popular for external perception. Sure. Uh, but for the interior, it's, uh, it's, it's, it, it, it always had its challenges, either because of the sensors being used, whether it's time of flight or stereo sensors, generally the cost some technolo technology um, limitations with regards to interference, uh, resolution and things like that. For the last couple of years, and because image sensors are the primary uh, sensors that we use inside the cabin, we literally wanted to disrupt uh, the, uh, the features yes. that we can get from the image sensors. So the last couple of years, we've uh, in invested heavily in gathering 3D data from 3D sensors in order to train 3D models, but um, using a single standard RGB IR uh, image sensor, uh, the features we provide are in 3D. And of course, the third thing here is depth uh, information. Right. But what is the significance? This may sound like a really obvious question, but what is the significance of being depth aware? Because you do mention that in the press release. So what is depth aware in that context? It literally gives the uh, um, uh, it's information that we provide to OEMs and tier ones uh, that is extremely critical when it comes to existing features that that, uh, that your NCAP and GSR have been mandating for now, but also for brand new um, 
uh, use cases. So uh, imagine a dynamic airbag deployment that understands very accurately where your elbow, wrist, shoulder is okay, relative right. to the camera or relative right. to any other surface sure. within the vehicle. Got it. We imagine, for example, for comfort features, the vehicle understands how far the steering wheel is or your uh, you know the armrest is, or yeah. the, or any anything within yes. the vehicle um, uh, relative to the to the to, to, to the human body. Uh, imagine understanding how far any object within the vehicle is from the camera or from anything else. Right. Extremely important for human to human interaction, yes. human to object interaction, and right. human to surface interaction. Right. Right. Well, that's fascinating. I'm picturing myself driving now. <laughs> so. So it's fascinating. Um, with all of the trends, though, happening in automotive, and there, there's a bunch. Yes. We have ADAS, we have autonomy, we have software-defined cars, electrification, yeah. now in cabin. What is your take on all of it, Mona? You know, this entire event about automotive is, um, is uh, primarily to enhance safety or at least make it standard. A certain level of safety needs to be met and standardized because I cannot imagine um, the lives that are being lost on the road today in the US and globally yeah. due to human error or even error. Sure. So safety has to be um, at, the, at, you know, at, the, at the baseline of everything that anyone in the automotive industry is doing. And then secondarily, uh, we think about comfort. We don't think vehicles are, you know, of course the seats may be comfortable yeah, and, uh, yeah. and uh, you know, certain dynamics may be comfortable, but we, 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 we think of the vehicle catering to the occupants in general, whether it's a driver, front passenger, or any other passengers. Yes, yes. And then the third aspect that we think about is convenience. We wanted the ride to be uh, safe, comfortable, but most importantly, uh, convenience. Yes. We don't want it to be uh, a burden, or, or, or uh, you know, we don't want the passengers to make any unnecessary or additional efforts during the ride. And so, these are the top three things that come to mind. Of course, of course. What inspired you, Modar, to go on to this career trajectory? This is my third startup. Um, <laughs> uh, I uh, my background is in human behavior understanding. Sure. Um, I have a uh, over a decade experience in computer vision, and so I have a mad love for automotive and cars in general. It was sure. fairly easy for me to put the three together and start Iris as a, a, one of the leaders in uh, uh, automotive uh, sensing, especially for the in cabin space. Um, uh, I also have a little bit of a personal experience, so there is a motivation there that naturally comes out without necessarily having to think about you yeah. know what to do with yeah. regards to the company and where to take it. Right. The the goal here is really just to make help make uh, cars safer and uh, enjoyable for 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 every ride. Yeah, that's fantastic. I want to encourage all of our AutoVision News viewers and guests. We've got. Uh, Modar Alawi tagged in this post. Please connect with him on LinkedIn. We also have Iris tagged on LinkedIn as well. So please visit their page and keep up with them and, and follow them. The big news here at InCabin, the world's first monocular 3D sensing AI solution with the goal ultimately to make cars more comfortable and safer. Modar, thank you so much. Thank you for very your time. much, Carl. Thank you very much for having me. Such, it's a pleasure. Su such a pleasure.